Hi guys, Greyduck here from Pi Labs. So in Twister OS version 183, we've added a new application called Lutris, which is a very powerful and customizable gaming platform for Linux. It's a tool that can not only manage your entire game library, but includes a number of features that can greatly simplify setting up games in Twister OS and save you a whole lot of time. So that being said, let's fire up Lutris. So in Lutris, the easiest way to add games that you already have shortcuts for is to import them from your application menu. To do that, click on the Add symbol in the upper left corner, and then click on Import Games. Select the game that you want to import, click Import Games, and an item will appear in your library. You can then apply any customizations to games in your library by right-clicking on them and choosing Configure. Here we'll change the resolution for this game to 720p. Click Save, and your game's ready to launch. To add Linux games that you don't have a menu shortcut for, click on the Add symbol in the upper left again, choose Add Game, and then type the name of the game, choose a runner, in this case we'll choose Linux, under Game Options we'll browse to find the executable for the game. and then we'll want to set a working directory, which is usually the game directory. Now this isn't necessary for every game, but I usually do it just to be safe. We'll go ahead and set the resolution to 720p for this game again. And we're set. To add Windows games, follow the same procedure, click on the Add symbol in the upper left hand corner, choose Add Game, type the name of the game, and for the runner this time, we'll choose Wine for Windows games. Under Game Options, we're going to browse and find the Windows executable this time for the game that we want. Set our working directory again. Click save, and we're good to go. Now I'm going to show you how to add a DOS box game. So we'll go through the same procedure. Type the name of our game. We're going to choose Linux as our runner. And under Game Options, for the executable, we're actually going to choose the DOSBox executable. So we'll browse to that. Then for arguments, typically for DOS games, I like to run them in full screen and have them close automatically when the game exits. We do that by adding the hyphen full screen and hyphen exit switches. After that, we're going to use Thunar to copy and paste the executable path for the DOS game itself. I'm going to set our working directory as the game directory again. And system options, we're going to choose 640 by 480 as the resolution because that's the resolution that most DOS games run in. Hit save. And we're ready to launch our game. Another way to add games that you own to Lutris is via the Lutris website. Once you create an account at Lutris.net, you can search for games and choose Add to My Library. We'll search for Unreal Tournament 2004 here. Once we found the game, we click Add to My Library. And 
and then we'll go up to the user menu and say synchronize library. The game we just added will appear. We'll right click on it, choose add installed game. For the runner we'll choose Linux for this one. Game options, same as before. And we're all set. Once your games have been set up in Lutris, another cool feature is the ability to easily create desktop and menu shortcuts for them by right-clicking a game and then choosing Create Desktop or Application Menu Shortcut. And there they are! That's all for now, guys. See you next time.